what's up everybody welcome back to our fourth tutorial i hope you have uh, managed to get through from the first tutorial up to the third one before we proceed to the fourth one if you have any challenges feel free to comment on place your comment on the comment section if there's any challenge i will i'll be free i have some time i can help you out and also don't forget to subscribe and you'll get the notifications once i post the latest video on this tutorial so on our food tutorial we are going to handle uh, the web pack bundle tracker and also how we are going to write the updated configurations to the web pack stats json file which we had written or stated in our earlier Django webpack loader configuration. You remember we had set uh, the webpack dot stats, but if you check under front end directory, we don't actually have that file. So, what you are going to do now, we are going to install first the webpack bundle tracker. This will now be the on the front end part. That's the vu CLI project, not now under the main Django project. So you can uh, google the webpack bundle tracker i will also add the link under the description box you can see the installation instructions also the usage is laid out for you under their own github page so let's start by installing and just copy the install process now the most important thing is just a reminder that you have to change your directory to the front end directory now you paste the webpack bundle tracker install command then now this will depend on your internet speed and network strength yeah so we wait for that to install and that's done now we'll need more other thing the webpack the right file plugin for webpack now this will be able to write the changes that we have made to the webpack .js file that's also on github you can also open i will also add the link on the description box so you can read more on it that is if you want some extended knowledge about it so we are going to install it under the same same front end directory don't make a mistake to install it under the django vu main directory because that won't work it must be under the front end because it's a node module we need it for the vu front end part so while that installs we'll go to our webpack config Js. this is where we are going to configure now our settings if you check on the usage of the bundle webpack tracker they will show you on how to implement it you can see declaring is a, a variable and also stating it under the plugins and now that's all the configuration that you need and also the same to the right plugin you just have to import it then you add it oh sorry oops then you add it also to our uh, plugins so now let's go ahead into our webpack.config.js we declare our variable bundle tracker bundle tracker is equals to so we require webpack the bundle tracker we also need the to import the right plugin we have the, oh sorry, the, the right file plugin have to require right 
fail webpack webpack plugin now that we have imported the uh, our modules we can add them now under under the modules object this is where now we will be able to add our plugins not the plugins remember under the webpack both the webpack file writer you can see you are placing it under the plugins object so now let's go and create uh, a plugins you can see we have the rules we have uh, we don't have anything else so now we are going to add our plugins so let's add our plugins sorry just give me a second output file and the modules the result uh, the dev server performance okay now this configuration is quite different from the, the recommended uh, deployment production setup for webpack but i guess now we are going to configure it under yes and the main Add our bundle tracker. Yes, we will give it the file name. It will be saved under webpack. Starts JSON. And we also need the right plugin. Which if you if you check on the configuration on the github home page you can see you just need to declare it yeah and that's all for now let's hope that works let's try running our development server and see if actually it did create now the development server works fine and yes if you go to your front end directory you'll see we have a new file that is webpack.json and you can see we have uh, the directory to our different the public path which will now be having our let's say the bundles for the javascript and that's all for now let's meet in the next video don't forget to subscribe if you have any challenges put them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thank you and see you.